Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And as usual, I'm still looking at the whole story of Easter, looking at the gamut of the story of Easter. And I'm looking at Easter, an event of Easter, but for me, it is a, a kaleidoscope of principles, multicolored faces of principles for Easter. And one of the stories that I, I, is very interesting for me, I like to capture it uh, with this word, uh, divine tumble. Divine tumble. Now you remember Jesus, you know, uh, when he picked up the cross on the way to be crucified at Calvary, the Bible says he tumbled and fell. The cross was so heavy that he fell. And I mean, I mean, Jesus, God, I mean, hey, carrying the cross and as he's going, boom, the man falls. The weight, the burden of, of the cross was too much for his frail body. You know, he's been tortured, he's been beaten, he's been, I mean, whipped, in, his backside was lacerated, he had lost a lot of blood, he'd been mocked, I mean, his spirit was low, even from Gethsemane, he was in very low spirit and all those things, he's gone through all that traumatic experience. And then they put a cross on him and then they, he fell. You know, just a little bit of a digression. I say, ah, but Jesus, you know, you, 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 one cross and then you were falling all over the place. And then he asks us that if any man should come after him, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow him daily. I mean, we, you, you carried it one day, you were falling, falling, then we, we, we should carry it daily. And so what's going to happen to us? But that's the lighter side. But here's the interesting thing. The burden, the weight of what he was carrying threw him down. Very simple. Sometimes there are burdens that we'll be carrying and those burdens will make us fall. Those burdens will be, will be too much. Those weights will be too much for us. And sometimes we'll land on the floor with it. And sometimes, you know, when, when those things happen, it, it's, it's not because you are weak. It's not because you, 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 you're not up to the task. But the burden, the weight of the burden you carry is so heavy for your shoulders. So sometimes the purposes of God for your life, some of the events in those purposes will make you land on the floor. It will make you land on the floor. Sometimes it will throw you down. It will make you nobody. It will reduce you to the weakest of the weak. But you know one thing? One of the things that I like about it, no cross is permanent. No cross lasts forever. It's only for a distance. Weeping may endure for an evening or a night, but joy comes with the morning light. So if you trip and fall under the cross, if you trip and fall under the burden, that's not the end of your life. I have a friend who says, the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. So guess what? Sometimes the burden, the weight of what you carry, will be so much that you will land on the floor. But guess that's not the end of your story. Get up, pick up yourself. There's something better ahead of you. The choice is yours. See you later.